Hi, I'm Paul, and we're making a video today to talk about decanting and show you a little bit about how to do it. There are two main reasons that you would want to decant a wine. The first reason is because it allows the wine to come in contact with the oxygen, and that can sometimes soften tannins a little bit uh, and also help the bouquet, the aroma, to come out a little bit more. So if you open a wine and it feels kind of tight and restrained, uh, decanting can be an option to help to deal with that. Some people like decanting more than others, and um, you can do it yourself to see the effect that it has on the wine and see whether or not you like it. Uh, the other main reason to decant is to remove sediment. If you have a bottle that's really old, sometimes the, the tannins can participate out of the wine and land on the bottom of the bottle. And they're not, um, uh, they, they don't, they don't harm anybody, there's not a problem with them, but they are a little bit unsightly and annoying, so it can be good to remove them from the bottle. Uh, and I'll show you sort of uh, the way to go about both of those techniques. <clears throat> we have here a standard shape decanter. The reason that it has this shape is because when, the, when one standard bottle is poured into it, the, the liquid will line up right around this widest part of the glass, which allows maximum surface area to be in contact with the air. <clears throat> All right, so pouring it in is pretty standard. I would say put the, the um, mouth of the bottle close enough so that you're not in danger of spilling any of it out. And then pour fairly slowly because as that wine runs down the edge of the glass, it'll uh, come into contact with more air uh, than if you poured it really quickly. So. Most bottles of wine, I'd say the majority of wines sold uh, in the United States, are not really gonna contain sediment. They'll take measures to try to remove the sediment. So you're only gonna really encounter it in wines that are unfiltered uh, and wines that may be quite a bit older. If that is the case, and if you do think that, you know, you're opening a bottle that's say 10, 15, 20, 30 years old, and you wanna be careful about the sediment, then I would suggest that you find a light source a lot of times in restaurants uh, or at home, you might use a candle uh, just because uh, of the elegance of it. But you can you can use anything. Um, a light bulb is fine. I actually sometimes will use the, the light feature on my phone. So you put your light source right in front of you. And then you would hold the, uh, the bottle over the decanter just as usual. And the, the key here is that the light source should be um, or the bottle should be between you and the light source and it basically just lights up the inside of the bottle allowing you to see any little specks and sediment that might be um, possibly coming out into your glass or into the decanter. Again, pour slowly. And I can see that flame through the wine. And I can see in the case of this wine that there isn't any sediment coming out into the decanter. If this was a bottle that had a lot of sediment, it would slowly be gathering down in the shoulder of the bottle, that, that sort of depression in the bottom. And hopefully it would settle there and would not actually run into the decanter. I did see just a little sediment there, so I'm stopping. It's kind of essential to this process of decanting to remove sediment that you will end up with a little bit of extra wine at the bottom of the bottle. So don't worry about that. You can either filter that uh, or just, just leave it. And that's it. The majority of the benefit that a wine receives from decanting happens at the beginning through this process of pouring it in. Um, I personally will often go ahead and pour the wine right after decanting, but uh, some people will leave it in a decanter for a half an hour to several hours, depending on their, their preferences. And you can always taste a little bit of it along that time uh, to get an idea of where the wine is uh, and how it's, it's uh, coming across so that you can pour it when you're most happy with it. And then pouring from the decanter is pretty much the same as pouring from a bottle. I find that a lot of times people go to great effort to try to develop a technique for pouring wine where they're not going to drip on the table. Professionals, in my experience, are more likely to just use a cloth to wipe off the, the lip so that you don't have to worry about that. So hopefully that gives you uh, a little bit of an introduction to decanting and why you might use it and how to do it.